Welcome to Modemulator instructional video number two. This video will explain how to use the Modemulator's dial command or the direct dial command to make a cellular connection. The topics covered in this video are an overview of adapting legacy data communication systems for cellular connectivity, how to set up the dialing directory and use the Modemulator's dial command, and how to use the Modemulator's direct dial command. The cellular data service that cellular modems and gateways use does not allow connections that are dialed with a phone number. Actually, connections to cellular data services are made with an IP address. A modemulator can translate the phone number that's dialed by a legacy application into an IP address by using its dialing directory, which allows the legacy software that's designed to dial an analog modem to make a cellular connection. Before the modemulator can dial a simulated phone number, entries must be made into its dialing directory using a terminal to send commands into the modemulator's terminal port. The modemulator's dialing directory is a table of phone numbers, port numbers, and IP addresses. It can hold up to 7,200 entries. The modemulator provides three commands to manage the dialing directory. When the brace Y command specifies a phone number, a port number, and an IP address, sending this command to the modemulator adds or overwrites one entry in the dialing directory. If the port number is omitted from the brace Y command, the default port number 8888 is entered into the dialing directory. When the brace Y command specifies only a phone number, Sending this command to the modemulator deletes one entry from the dialing directory. The brace X command displays the entire dialing directory onto the terminal screen. And the brace W command deletes all entries from the dialing directory. Once entries have been made into the dialing directory, the modemulator can receive a dial command from the legacy application. The modemulator dial command uses the same format that an analog modem uses, the letter D followed by a phone number. When the modemulator receives this command and the phone number has a matching entry in the dialing directory, the modemulator will use the IP address from that entry to connect through the cellular network to a destination port. This is the essential purpose of the dialing directory, to receive a dial command and translate it to an IP address. The dial command sent by the legacy application might contain some dial modifiers. The modemulator will ignore the dial modifiers and, and execute the command as if they weren't there. As the dial command is executed, the modemulator will return call progress messages to the legacy application, just as an analog modem would. If the application must make connections to legacy analog sites as well as connections to cellular sites, the modemulator's dialing directory must not contain the phone numbers of the analog sites. When the dial command sent by the legacy application is dialing a real analog phone number, and if an analog modem is connected to the modemulator's modem port, the dial command will automatically pass through the modemulator to the analog modem which will attempt to contact another analog modem over the dial-up telephone network. Now I'll explain how to dial directly to an IP address with the modemulator's direct dial command. In the direct dial command, the D is followed by a colon. Then an IP address and port number are specified, allowing the direct dial command to bypass the dialing directory. If the port number is omitted from the direct dial command, the default port number 8888 is used. As the direct dial command is executed, the modemulator will return call progress messages to the legacy application, just as an analog modem would. Use the direct dial command for applications in which the dial command being sent by the legacy software can be changed to send the direct dial command and an IP address instead of a phone number. 
the mode emulator will use the IP address from the direct dial command to connect through the cellular network to the destination port, bypassing the dialing directory. In this video, I've explained that the dial command and the mode emulator's dialing directory should be used for applications in which the legacy software doesn't allow changing its phone numbers to IP addresses, or for applications in which it's simply preferable to not reconfigure the legacy software for IP dialing, or if the application must also connect to dial-up modems over the landline telephone network. I've also explained that dialing with the direct dial command should be used for applications in which the legacy software does allow changing its phone numbers to IP addresses, and it's preferable to reconfigure the legacy software for IP dialing instead of using the mode emulator's dialing directory. And also, that direct IP dialing is not limited to 7,200 destinations. For more details about any mode emulator commands, see the command reference chapter in the mode emulator user guide, which can be downloaded from these USR support pages. I hope this video was helpful for understanding how to use the mode emulator's dial command for dialing simulated phone numbers and how to use the mode emulator's direct dial command to dial IP addresses. Thank you for watching and thank you for choosing US Robotics.